So if I was to ask you now, and I used to say, right, I have a team of 100,000 people and I want them to be great marketeers, but we're only allowed to give them three guiding principles, which they will take with them. These can just be philosophies, ideas, whatever, but we yeah. can only give them three guiding principles to hope to make them successful. What would those top three guiding principles be? I'll start with the three characteristics um, that I would say. It's like, we're going we're gonna to have the dominant traits of empathy, curiosity, and let's call it courage or risk-taking. Like those, those three traits is what we're going to be known for. And for empathy, you know, to me within the marketing process is, is you know, the principle that I talk about in the book is, you know, see what others see, find what others don't. The best marketing teams and the best communication teams are able to peel back the layers, get under the surface of a human being, a city or a community, and find the deeper insight or truth that resides there. And then they reveal it through storytelling. It's back to the Michael Jordan example. How many, how many more ads could you do about him dunking a basketball? So empathy is like, go deeper. Whether you're designing a product, it's like, you know, you're, you're, you're revealing the, the, the true problem that needs to be solved. You're not just observing some behavior and making, um, you know, uh, a, you know, hypothesis off that. You're actually spending the time to go deeper and deeper into that. And that's that idea of see what others see, find what others don't. Curiosity is that idea of getting outside yourself um, because it's one thing to have the insight, right? And the problem that you're gonna solve and you're clear on that, but now you need to reveal it to the world. And oftentimes you need uh, points of inspiration coming into the process. And that's why you look at Nike Air, probably the greatest innovation in the history of, of sneakers, right? Uh, air, air, um, airbags and air cushioning and sneakers. Well, that came from uh, an engineer at NASA who was experimenting with creating an innovation for astronaut helmets for space exploration. And he brought that to Nike and that led to Nike Air. That's my point about find inspiration outside of your sector. And that's that idea of bringing the outside in. So that's the curiosity thing, outside, uh, get outside yourself. And then, you know, f finally is that idea of, of, you know, we don't play it safe, we play to win. Um, we want to, we, we're not comfortable with the status quo. Um, and we want people comfortable kind of pursuing what's next, not just getting complacent and delivering um, products, services, stories in the way everyone else is. So we also want to be a team that, that is obsessive about um, every aspect of branding. You know, and so think of how powerful that be can become is if you have a team and that they're deeply empathetic to who they serve, like they get great at learning and asking questions. They're unbelievable, uh, unbelievably curious and always looking beyond what's in front of them to see what else they can, because so much of innovation is about transference. You take something from here, you bring it into your sector, and you 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 change the game, and then and then, but and then the risk taking thing is not feeling like you have a team that has to ask for permission to use their imagination. I think that's really important because if you're in a if you develop a culture where um, people have to ask um, to think, people have to get approval, um, then you're not. I I don't believe you would be known as a, a leading innovator. In, in your space on that. So th those are just a few, but I, I just think it's also, I'll, I'll tell you this, when I was CMO, I did an informal um, poll with my, the marketing leaders. And I'm biased of course, but I felt and I believe that this is the best marketing team in the world. And I said, what are the top two characteristics you look for in any marketer that you're interviewing for a particular job within the Nike marketing team. And the top two um, traits that 
came to the top from everybody was curiosity and collaborative. I mean, to a person. And it was kind of tied. I want someone who's always searching for inspiration and is curious about, about their teammates, about the consumer, about technology, entertainment, um, uh, art. And then I want someone who, who can play with others, right? And um, that you can feel that sense that this person is, um, has conviction, um, you know, believes in themselves, but can play within a, in a, in a team. Um, and those were the two that, that rose to the top. And, and um, you know, and I, I think that's true today. 